Step 1. The first layer. Now in this project, you're going to do quite a few different layers. The trick is to tear your pieces of paper ahead of time to get them ready. You can use any kind of paper. Tissue paper, scrapbook papers, colored papers, Asian papers, anything you like. If you like the papers that I use, I teach you how to do that in my Mixed Media for Beginners course. So go to that course to learn how to make those papers, the ones that I use. Now for the video. Let's watch how the first layer is put on. Now I have my shapes for the flower. I, I'm just going to add a few pieces here and there. I decided I didn't want to create the same thing over again. So I've decided to use red as a color or at least mostly red with a few blues and some grays. So remember the motto, create a gel sandwich. So you put gel under and gel over. So now what I'm going to do is pick out pieces of paper that have that shape of the petal, the one that I have drawn out. Doesn't have to be perfect just so long as, as it's very close to what you've done before. Remember, you need an irregular amount of petals helps uh, create more of a balance. So I would like a little dark there, so I add a little piece of dark. I also want it to go over the edge like it's doing now. And I'm going to add a little bit of dark on that other petal, just like that. And that way I have a blend. I have the red, I have darks, and I'm going to have some lights too. But basically the first step, you just put it on. Don't worry too much. Choose a color you like. Make sure it's similar shapes to what you've decided to put on. Try to have a little bit of variety so not every petal is the same. But it's not a complicated process. For the beginning, just put it on. In this case, I'm also adding pieces to the side at the same time. So here I'm adding another dark beside that petal and making sure that I have gel under and gel over on both sides. And now we're going to add another piece. And take your time doing this. Don't be afraid to study it, place it, decide if you really like it there or not. Take it off if you don't like it. You don't have to commit to something unless you really like it. So just choose the pieces you like. Add them on and don't worry in the beginning. The important part is making sure that the, there is a similar color scheme for the whole process. So now I'm going to just extend that petal so it goes right over the edge. And I want those petals to touch the edge, just like that. So gel under, gel over, and add pieces until you are happy with what the shape is doing. So now I want that dark to almost touch the dark that was there before. So it looks like a line has been extended. Now one more piece, a little bit of dark. And I'll make it skinnier so it looks better. And here we go. Now that dark goes right over the edge. That's one big petal. And we're going to add some more petals. A little lighter one goes that way. Add a little gel. Just like that and then gel over. So we're staying to the same color scheme. 
So I'm going to use reds and blues, more like a teal color, some blacks and some grays. And I want to make sure that I don't change color right in the middle of the flower. So I'm going to keep the same color scheme all the way through. Notice how generous I am with the gel. Don't be afraid to put a lot of gel. It saves having air bubbles. If the gel is too thin, sometimes an air bubble is made and then you have a problem. Air bubbles are no fun. So we're adding a little bit of blue. I added blue on one side and I'm going to add it on the other. And I keep going and adding just like that. And I want to make sure that my flower extends right to the edges. This is the first step. You want to have good coverage all the way to the edge. You want the petals to just go right near the edges. And I keep adding pieces. Just like that one near the edge. Those white parts are going to be a different color. I'm going to add something different after. So this is the second one. So now just keep adding pieces until you're, you have covered almost the whole surface of the painting. I'm going to speed it up now because it's quite boring to just listen me, to me talk while I just slowly, very slowly glue some papers on. So just keep it working the project and adding pieces. You want to make sure that the edges are all covered and you have a piece that looks very similar to this. When you are done, just glue down the edges. Here's the final product. This is what you need to do now. See you in the next section.